be talking to you about the organization of FNN. So FNN is known as Fraser and Lee. It's a company of business where they sell food and beverages, and the group has been available since 1883. And as the one of the largest manufacturers and distribution of beverages, they have brands like 100 Plus, Fruit Tree, Oishi, and a lot more. And 100 Plus has been having a high sale in Malaysia, whereas their Fruit Tree is like the second place in our Asian drink category. They also manufacture condensed milk in the brand of teapot and carnation milk, and their products have been distributed to around 75 countries around the world. Now I would pass my time to Cassandra. My name is Cassandra, and I'll be talking about corporate culture. What is corporate culture? Well, corporate culture in the organization refers to the attitudes, beliefs, behavior, values, and its standards towards each member in the organization. Well, in FNN, talents are nurtured and is being rewarded in many ways based on their performance and their image. With living in a multicultural country like Malaysia, FNN tends to look upon high executions lined up based on their economies that they own and operate. So because of that, they intend to employ by choice and be role models for others. Equal opportunities are given to everyone regardless of race, religion, ethnicities, or any other factor. This is which deems unnecessary to any employment requirement. This is where objectives, since it's a workplace, it is enriched with fresh perspective. So moving on, one of the systems that is used in FNN into knowing the performance rate of the employees is where we use a system called Beverest. Beverest is where we evaluate the performance of all our employees. Moving on, FNN pays their employees wages competitively and a regular review is always carried out to make sure that remunerations of packages are always in line and with the peers in accord with other group companies. In each market that FNN operates, they tend to make take short and long-term programs so that they can make a better social equity to the company. In other ways to make their promotional mark, they tend to go environmental cautious. So they tend to be more green to save the planet. So that's all from me. Thank you for listening. I'll pass my time to Hi, I'm Alicia and now I'll be talking about FNN's corporate social responsibilities. FNN has contributed so much into thousands and thousands of families during this year's Ramadan season to our frontliners and underprivileged families. They have donated more than 500,000 of FNN products and necessities for, for example, FNN packet drinks, 100 plus, and FNN condensed milk, and other foods. They have provided the orphanages and old folks' home with food and drinks, and even masks and sanitizers as well, to keep them safe from this year's pandemic. Isn't that great? Next, I'll pass it on to... So, for a global company like FNN, constant change and innovation is required to improve their products and services. The company invests in product and process innovation to increase their product range, as well as improving efficiency and productivity. In 2016 and 2017, FNN mainly focused on strengthening their organization structure. Many workers were either being restructured or replaced by other potential staff in order to improve the company's growth and development. The objectives of restructuring are to transform the organization for the better and also limiting financial harm to the business. In 2018 and 2019, new products were introduced. FNN offered more options and product categories, healthier options and convenience through differentiation and packaging. FNN also reduced the sugar content in their beverages. Some examples of the drinks are FNN Lychee Pear, FNN Seasons Watermelon Lychee Tea, and also non drinks like FNN Sweetened Condensed Milk Squeeze Cube. This year, the revenue of FNN is affected by COVID-19 pandemic and the subsequent MCO which was implemented after the pandemic. 
Hence, F&N takes health and hygiene of the organizations into serious consideration. Besides educating strict health and safety regulations and enhanced sanitization at the workplace, they have been working closely with the Ministry of International Trade and Industry to ensure maximum output within the reduced production hours and workforce during the MCO period. And that's all for my part. Now I'd like to pass the time to Nicholas. But before that, let's have a drink. Cheers. My name is uh, Nicholas, and today I'll be talking about the PLLC of FNN. So FNN employs a type of management style uh, which for situation with leadership. Uh, what this means is that uh, they use the most suitable type of leadership that is relevant to the situation, be it uh, authoritative or affiliative. Because of that, uh, FNN is able to manage their workers by building up trust and having a good relationship with them. When they establish their relationship, it makes everyone understand their role and work as a team to accomplish their objectives. However, employees of FNN sometimes will encounter a communication problem where the employees maybe don't understand the instructions uh, given to them or if the instructions weren't clear enough. So to avoid this, uh, FNN tries to give instructions as clear as possible so the employees can uh, complete their tasks and mostly avoid conflict. But however, sometimes conflicts do occur, but, and when they do occur, FNN uh, avoids taking sides with people and tries to identify the root of the problem. After that, they will try to come up with uh, solutions and arrangements which will solve the issue. Okay, thank you Nicholas. So, FNN makes sure they constantly obtain feedbacks from their employees. When a project is ongoing, they make sure that they monitor and interface with their employees on a regular basis so that they make sure that their performance does not deviate from the expected standards. They also continuously motivate the employees so that they could bring out the best in them. So when it comes to monitoring and evaluating their employees' performances, besides KPI, they also take a look into the soft elements, for example, their performances, their teamwork, and as well as the communication within the co-workers. And also they have this uh, program called 360 Degrees, whereby besides the bosses and managers, they are, the co-workers get to evaluate and score an individual employee. So, on a final note, it's not easy to run an organization, but together if you work as a team, the goals and objectives can be achieved easily. So, that's all from us. I hope you like our video. Thank you.